how to needle felt a pig brooch. We've got um, pink pigs, orange pigs and black pigs all available on the website in our brooch kits. The kit makes one little brooch, but of course once you've got the instructions you can make as many as you want um, in all different colours. The only thing you will need in addition to the kit is a felting surface. Obviously you can't fit in the um, in the box. You've got everything you need in here. So you've got the wool tops and your instructions, needle felting tips and two felting needles. So looking at our instructions, we've got full written instructions. You've also got a, a photo tutorial to follow along with. If you would like to use a needle felting handle, you can do, but you don't need to. So in here, got your brooch back and then two needles. Hopefully you'll only need one, but sometimes they do break. So I'm going to take about three quarters of my main colour. I've got about 10 grams of Corydale here. So I'm going to take around about seven and a half grams. So that's one chunk and then that's the bit I've got left over. I'm going to fold this into a kind of pillow shape. Trying to keep it nice and tight because the more condensing you can do now, the less you need to do with the needle. And now I'm just going to give that a stab to start it holding. Do the other side as well. Just stab in and out at the same angle. So now that's starting to hold, I'm going to really condense all these fibres down and I'm going to try to work it into a more rounded shape. So to do that, all you have to do is stab in where you want those fibres to condense. So where I've got a fluffy bit here. And the barbs on the needle are just going to take all those fibres into the middle. So it's just a case of keep stabbing and moving. Now we can work on this side. Again, take those corners in. And because I'm trying to condense the fibres into the middle, I'm going to make sure my needle's angled in the way that I want my fibres to go. If I'm going this way, all my fibres will start spreading and I'll get a flatter shape. I've been working this for quite some time now and I've given it a good stab in all directions so it should pretty much be equally firm all around. It seems to have gone into a slight oval shape which I don't hate. I love how the shapes just kind of like form into something quite organic when it comes to needle felting. So this is the base of our head. Um, I prefer this side to this side so this is going to be my back. Now to do the nose, I'm taking the remaining bits of your main colour, we're going to split this into four. So one, that, so one each for each ear, and then split this one in half. One bit's going to be for doing the nose, um, and another bit is for attaching the brooch back. So to do the nose, it's a similar thing to how we did the head. I'm just going to start the felting process. So fold it into a pillow and start the felting process in your hands. And just start felting to a rough circular shape. You just want it to start holding. So now that it's holding, I'm going to hold it on my face or my pig's face, where I want it, 
it doesn't look great at the moment but as it condenses down it's going to work I'm just going to do a couple of stabs just so that I can see where I want this placed so I'm happy with it there it just needs to be condensed so I'm going to stab in at the direction that I want the fibers to go and make sure to stab around this defining edge as well just work this in and sculpt it into a nice little snouty shape so the nose is really starting to hold on now and what we're going to do we're just going to secure that on so with one of the pieces that we've got left over um, not the ear ones I'm just going to take a few wispy bits like this and lay it over the nose this way just give it a rough stab on and a few wispy bits that way and then this we've still got plenty for attaching the brooch back after and just let those wispy bits fall over the nose and secure those joins And just let them go round onto the back and just stab them in and it's really going to secure the nose in position okay now I'm taking some of the lighter contrast color in this kit it is the flesh I'm just going to pull a wee bit off and roll into a rough kind of circular quite flat shape in your hand and this is going to be on the end of the nose stab around the edge always stab around the defining edge first and then you can work on the middle but it's important to really get a definition to the end of the snout I'm going to take a little bit more just to place along the bottom line quite happy with that I'm going to take some black now I'm just going to make the little nostrils so taking a wispy bit of black I'm going to split it into no me this is probably enough for doing four nostrils I'm just going to roll them in my hands yeah too big there we go roll them up make sure they are the same size as each other that's why I like to roll them both at the same time so I can really feel if there's the same amount of fibers and the same density there I'm going to hold right on the end of the nose and stab it in in a kind of slightly oval shape so it's a little bit long like that and then same with this one
just take your time to try and make it as symmetrical as possible. But it doesn't matter if it's not. I'm just taking my time to very carefully felt this on because you don't want any of the black fibres to really be migrating into the rest of the nose because it'll just kind of make it look, well, a little bit muddier. <laughs> Which, we all know pigs love mud. Now for the eyes, I'm going to take what I was using for one of my nostrils before and I'm going to split that in half. I'm just going to play around with the placement. I don't put them too far up, I keep them quite close to the nose. You can just figure out whereabouts you'd like those eyes. I think they're pretty cute there. Just going to stab them in. And same goes for this one. Try and make this one slightly more oval like I did with the first one. While failing that, we'll add a bit to this eye. You can always add fibres, you can't take them away, so it's always best to start off small. There, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to take some of the flesh, the lighter colour that I used for the end of the nose, and I mean tiny amounts. This is just going to be for a little glint on the eye. Tiny, tiny amounts. There we go. And just place it with your needle because they are so small. It's one little glint and then a similar place on here. So if you're placing them at the top, place it at the top of both eyes as opposed to one at the top and one at the bottom. There we go. I'm just going to pop some little eyebrows on now. Again, wispy bits of black. I'm going to break that in half. And roll that one into a kind of rough ball. It's just so that the fibres start wanting to stick to themselves rather than onto the pig. I'm just going to stab that. At the two edges and then start stabbing in the middle so that you've defined how long you want that eyebrow. Of course you can make your pig angry with the eyebrows or I think this one's starting to look a little bit worried. <laughs> can help sometimes I find to work it upside down and then you're not looking at the face you're just looking at the shapes. So I'm trying to match up where those eyebrows start without kind of getting lost in the in the expression on your piggy's face. I'm quite happy with that. Right, on to the ears. So we've got our two pieces of main colour for the ears. What I'm just gonna do because it's quite long, I'm just gonna restack these. So just pull the fibres apart, 
and you're just shortening so I've gone from being really long to that sort of a length which makes it a lot easier to deal with I'll do it with the other ear as well I'm gonna make one ear and then the other to make the ear shape I'm gonna lay my fibers out and I'm just going to stab a line roughly halfway a little line and that helps us fold it in half. Give it a rough stab and then I'm going to fold in one corner a rough stab and fold in the other top corner can see it's already starting to get that kind of pointy ear shape. Because this is quite a flat shape you're going to have to keep turning it over. You don't want it getting stuck to your felting surface. It's just a case of stabbing inwards again. And just stabbing gently along the edge. And you can just rub it in between your hands just so that those fibers want to cling to themselves. I'm going to keep this fluffy for attaching but I'm just really going to firm up this ear now. So I've got my two ears now. What I can also do is to really help define them just trim off those outside fibers. Don't want to trim the ear itself, just the fibers. As you can see, it's just a few fibers trimmed off. Now you can decide whether you want your ears pointing down, pointing up. It's entirely up to you. Kind of more of a loppid pig. I think I'm going to go for a more loppid pig. I'm just going to stab this one on, just so it's holding. And then I'm going to hold the other one on and stab that into position. so that I can gauge where they are and now I'm happy with the placement all these fibers from the back of the ears I'm just going to take along the back of the head I really 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 felt these in so this is really going to secure the ears on keeping an eye on the ears as well making sure they've not slipped out of place now just to pop the brooch back on the back I'm going to open it up and I'm just going to take some of the main colour that we still have left over. I'm not going to take all of it. Restack it a little bit. I'm going to hold the brooch back on the back and then take your wool tops almost like a piece of tape across the brooch back and stab in below and above. So you're almost encapsulating the brooch back in the wool. 
then very carefully you can feel where those two little holes are in the brooch back. Just take care so that you don't snap your needle. I'll just help it all really stay on there nice and firm. And just take those fibres around the back of the head. Firmly felt on. And then got these ones from the top. Almost looks a little bit cute with hair. <laughs> I'm just going to take them across the top of the head. And this is going to help your ears go on much more firmly as well because you're st stabbing in the same place that your ears went on. Just remember about that piece of metal in there so you don't want to snap your needle on it. And then you can just pop your brooch on. So that is how to needle felt a pig face brooch. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, remember, you can always get all the materials on our website at www.theprolificcrafter.co.uk. Happy crafting. Bye.